Let's get to the heart of the Xbox versus PlayStation rivalry and uncover some uncomfortable truths. Join us for the truth behind Xbox's downfall from competitor to collaborator. Hey gamers, it's your boy MM2K back again with another video. Do us a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and rock those bells for notifications please so you know when we're dropping these doses. Today, we're diving into some hard truths about your beloved Xbox console and its struggle against the giant that is PlayStation. Strap in because we're about to uncover some eye-opening revelations that might just reshape the way you view what's unfolding in front of those very eyes. First, let's talk about the betrayal of exclusivity. Now, exclusivity, the lifeblood of our loyalty, was shattered in an instant. Games tooted as exclusive seeking refuge on enemy's turf our investment our commitment brushed aside for greener pastures the sting of betrayal lingers fueling the flames of discontent such discontent became a reality as xbox announced its quote-unquote brand pivot which would land former first party exclusive flagship content on playstation wow next let's talk about xbox's downfall Digital Foundry's revelations hit hard that such flagship games like Sea of Thieves, Pentiment, and Hi-Fi Rush would shine brighter on PlayStation. How could this be? Shadows, sharper details, crisper ones at that. It's a bitter pill to swallow. The platform once the epitome of gaming prowess now lags behind. The epitomization debacle screams neglect, leaving us disillusioned and disheartened. Next, let's talk about brand loyalty under fire. Brand loyalty runs deep in the gaming community. Many of us have a strong attachment to our chosen console, but when that loyalty isn't reciprocated, it stings. Dedicating money to a singular platform and the expect expectation that the company at hand will go out of the way to reward your loyalty in some way. That's all diminished in a move like this, whether the loyalty is by personal choice or personal restraints. The loyalists expect the best from Xbox, and when you don't get it, frustration boils over. Next, let's talk about the Game Pass Mirage. Ah, Game Pass, the oasis in our parts gaming landscape. But beware, for it's but a mirage. Xbox's exodus to other platforms render our consoles obsolete. Why invest in hardware when the games roam free? Game Pass becomes the lifeline, but at what cost to Xbox? Let's now talk about Xbox's transformation. But wait, there's more. Xbox isn't just struggling, it's transforming. The rumors are swirling that Xbox might be ditching the console race altogether and becoming a third-party publisher, embracing open platform hardware in the form of a stream box and a handheld. This, my friends, is a long cry from curating a platform being pushed by powerful exclusive software. This approach, in contrast, doesn't require the powerful software part. And the direction shows. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but it's the reality we're facing. Now let's talk about the death of Xbox exclusivity. And so what does all this mean for us, the gamer? And especially for those of you that are diehard Xbox loyalists. Well, putting those games on other platforms makes the Xbox platform itself highly useless outside of Game Pass. It's like buying a ticket to a concert only to find out it's been moved to a different venue. Where's the exclusivity? Where's the edge? Here's my conclusion. So where does that leave you, Xbox gamer? It's time to face the harsh reality that your beloved console might be heading down a different path. The once mighty Xbox, now a shadow of its former self, walks the path of a third-party publisher. Now, will you continue to stand by watching as the platform fades into obscurity? The choice is yours. And with that said, that is it for this episode of The Spill. If you want more on this subject matter and more, join us for our exclusive podcast where we talk about and we ask why Xbox games keep playing better on PlayStation. It was a lively chat, great conversation. We even had the homie Doc Dark drop in the chat <laughs> and, and, and add some funny commentary. Definitely check it out. All right. 
for all of that discussion. With that said, we appreciate all of y'all for stopping by for this one. Until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.